Data sampling is a statistical method used to analyze and observe a subset of data from a larger data set and configure meaningful information. All the required information from the subset that helps in gaining information or drawing conclusions for the larger data set or its parent data set. Pros and cons of sampling. Pros. Save time contacting everyone in a population takes time. Saves money. The number of people a researcher contacts is directly related to the cost of a study. Collect richer data. Academic, such as medical, research, market research, public polling, user testing. Cons of sampling. Sampling errors. Biases. New data volume. Limited insights, also known as not capturing enough relevant data to see a pattern or trends because of missing information. Not asking relevant questions or not being able to gain enough participation for the data set to be relevant. Not enough subgroup representation. Not being completed promptly. So now we understand what we should bear in mind when gathering our samples from our datasets. And should review what we have covered before considering the samples for analysis. Now let's talk about qualitative and quantitative data types, and what does that even mean? Quantitative data is numbers-based, countable or measurable. Qualitative data is interpretation-based, descriptive and related to language. Quantitative data is gathered by measuring and counting. Quantitative data is analyzed using statistical analysis, while qualitative data is analyzed by grouping it in terms of meaningful categories or themes. Examples, numerical survey responses, test scores, and website traffic data. Qualitative data is collected by interviewing and observing, such as open-ended survey responses, interview transcripts, and observational notes. So now we know what to consider when we sample data we understand, how to differentiate data we can measure, quantitative and qualitative data that we interpret and process manually. Now we want to present the findings trends or patterns. We use data virtualization which involves using charts, graphs and maps to make complex data more accessible and understandable. Big data is more than just large amounts of data, it's about extracting value and insights from diverse, rapidly growing data sets to solve complex problems and make informed decisions. Before I go I want to highlight the importance of ethical considerations within big data and minority groups mean thinking about how data is used and protected. In big data, more is more simple gathering as broad a scope as possible, including engaging groups or overlooked areas to participate to ensure this helps prevent bias within data and allow everyone to be fairly represented.